Hey, what's going on? So welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 video. And today we're gonna be going over Lumen. So what is the big deal? Why am I so excited about Lumen? Well, Lumen is Unreal Engine 5's new dynamic global illumination reflection system that's designed for next gen stuff. Now, a lot of people in the comments are like, oh, what's the big deal? We're not gonna see this in games for another 10 years. Yeah, I understand it, but it's just the technology. We're stepping into a different new era of gaming, filmmaking. Remember when, you know, you first watched Terminator 2 back then in the 90s? And now you watch it now, you're like, wow, the CG is terrible. But back then it wasn't, you know? So in a way, Unreal 5 is just such an amazing step as far as filmmaking and in game creation that that's what I'm excited about, you know? Even though we probably won't see this for another two or three years, but at least we'll see it in, you know, movies and virtual productions and CG shorts, that's for sure, because I'm gonna be using that for that. Okay, so global illumination. So there are a couple of ways to turn on Lumen in Unreal Engine 5. Now, if you create a project in Unreal Engine 5, Lumen is already turned on by default, but if you're trying to migrate an Unreal Engine 4.26 project, and try to turn on Lumen, you're gonna have to turn it on in a couple of areas, okay? So let's go and take a look at that real quick. We're gonna go to Edit, Project Settings, and the first thing we're gonna type in here is Global Illumination. Now, if you were to do this in Unreal Engine 4.26, you're gonna see Screen Space in here, which is in beta in 4.26. Well, that's getting replaced, okay? So right now, you see Lumen right here. You have Lumen Screen Space, which is 4.26, and you have Ray Trace, which is they're getting away with, obviously. So we're gonna choose Lumen here, all right? And then the next one you're gonna to wanna to do is the reflection method, okay? So you see right here, the reflection, the reflection method is 128 right here, Lumen, screen space. So whenever you're importing that project, change these settings and reflection capture resolution. I don't even wanna to touch this yet because I know exactly, if I turn this up, I'm pretty sure my computer is gonna catch fire, so. That's pretty much it right there, okay? So you got Lumen, and then you got your reflections, because I know somebody in my stream today, they ask, hey, does Lumen work with reflection? And yeah, it does if you change it here. So it's pretty exciting. So what is global illumination? Now, I already explained this a couple of times and when I did the NVIDIA demo that I did for NVIDIA. Lumen, think of Lumen is, or global illumination is just light bouncing, you know? Let's say it's like you have like a very dark room in your house and you open like the window. You know, crack it open, and all of a sudden, your the room starts to light up, and that's because light bounces everywhere, right? So that's what Lumen is actually trying to mimic, that realism of light bouncing. So when you're, just, when you're thinking about global illumination, that's what it is, just light bounces everywhere. And why is that so important? Well, just like in reality, when light bounces, it creates this nice smooth transitions into the shadows, you know, and you can see that here, and I'm gonna show you that. And that's why Unreal Engine 5 in this scene right now looks realistic because Lumen is on. I mean, it's really trying to mimic what we see in real life. I, but you know, we still have a lot of dynamic range in our vision, but you know, at least here, it's helping you with the shadows, lifting it up. If you shoot videos, it's pretty much increasing your dynamic range in camera. It's similar to that, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and play around with the settings as far as on and off, okay? So if I go here again to the project settings, I'm gonna show you the Lumen and I'm gonna make this smaller. And I'm gonna go with global illumination. All right, so now we have uh, global illumination set to Lumen. What I'd like to do is let me move out of this area because I already did a couple of things here. And let me let me start maybe right here where there's a little bit of shadow, okay? So as you can see right here, I have it set to Lumen. If I go to screen space, you're going to see it changing right away. I mean, the, the change is pretty drastic. It just, boom, just pops right in front of your face. And then if you look at Ray Trace GI, which a lot of people were actually afraid of because A... It's great, but it's it costs a lot. You know, you need really good hardware to get this working. So this is Ray Trace GI, which is it looks like they're gonna get rid of in the future. As far as I know, they, they might come up with it again, but it looks like it says, see this is their use Lumen Global Illumination instead. So go Lumen, boom. You see these soft shadows right here. 
okay? Screen space, dark. See that? It's increasing that dynamic range, if you would. Think like Area Alexa dynamic range. It's giving you that stops and boom, just like that. Absolutely beautiful. It's amazing. All right, so as far as lighting goes, what types of light does Lumen work with, right? So right now, and this is beta face, you can use directional sky point spot and rec lights, which is my favorite. My plan actually this weekend, break down one of the scenes because you all want to know. Now, I'm not a cinematographer, but I was going to make like a little lighting series so I can talk to you about different lights and how I light my scenes. Uh, but I'll have to put that in the bar back burner right now because of Unreal Engine 5. But as far as Lumen, it works with pretty much everything. But you have to make sure that the lights are set to movable. Now, if you're if they're in static mode, they're not going to work with Lumen because static is baked lighting. And Unreal Engine 5 is really starting to move forward dynamic lighting, meaning changing lights. Okay? So... Additionally, from the project settings, you can also adjust the lumen settings in your post-processing volume. So if I go right here, and I'm pretty sure this scene has post-processing. Actually, it has a lot of post-processing. So let me just show you one. Oh, okay, so there's different post-processing depending on the lighting, and this is going to become more common. Look at all these time, time, midday, morning, sunset, all have uh, different post-processing. And if you go right here, sorry. If you go right here, let's just go to the sunset. This definitely changed a little bit, just the color and stuff. If you go to global illumination, you have method right here as well. So you can set it pretty much like how they have this set up. So let's say you have different scenes, like in this map right here, whenever you press that button, it changes to the same level, but different lighting setup. So in this case, they used probably a post-processing volume to change settings so that it's going to look different because it is the same exact level which i'll talk about a little bit more later on how they pull that off which is actually pretty cool and method of reflection you guessed it you also have it right here so now you have gi reflections right here screen space and ray tracing now usually in Unreal Engine 4.26 this is where you would turn all your rtx stuff right so you're at yeah, ambient occlusion, they left it in there. You got that ray tracing translucency, which I'm hoping is going to work a little bit better in Unreal Engine 5 because honestly, I could not even get that to work properly in previous Unreal Engines. Okay, so let's go back to the project settings real quick because I just want to show you some more options if you do have an RTX enabled card. If I go right here and just type in ray tracing, you're going to see that there's a couple of options right here. Support hardware ray tracing right here. Support hardware ray tracing requires support skin cache before project is allowed to say this. So I'm gonna have to change my screen, uh, my skin cache, which is okay. We'll type that here. So, but if you want, you can turn this on. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna use hardware ray tracing when available. All right, when that hardware is using uh, ray tracing, you can set this for hardware ray tracing here as well. And if you want ray tracing shadows, you can also set that in here as well. Okay. And I think this one is already uh, enabled because this is an Unreal Engine 5 project. But if you're importing, make sure this is also checked off right here. Software ray tracing right here. Okay. Let's turn that on, turn that off. And then you can click on this right here. Use hardware ray tracing when available. Okay. So it says Lumen features. There you go. Turn that on if you want. Okay. So that is pretty much what Lumen is all about. It is pretty much a different, a newer upgraded global illumination slash reflection system inside Unreal Engine 5. And it is beta, so that means they can hopefully improve from that. But man, we still got a couple more videos to go and this is some exciting stuff right here. If you guys have any questions, let me know and good luck. I hope you guys are able to actually play around with this because this is this is some awesome stuff. So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 4 using the new meta human characters but don't know how to do it. Well, I got the video just for you.